If we live through this precarious moment, if his catastrophic instinct to retaliate doesn't lead us to nuclear winter, we will have much to thank this president for because he will have woken us up to how fragile freedom really is. And his whisperers will have alerted us to the potential flaws in our balance of power in government, to how we've relied on the goodwill and selflessness of previous occupants of the Oval Office, and how quaint notions of custom, honor, and duty compelled them to adhere to certain practices of transparency and responsibility. How easily all of this can be ignored and how the authority of the executive in the hands of a self-dealer can be wielded against the people and the Constitution and their Bill of Rights. The whip of the executive can, through a Twitter feed, lash and intimidate, punish and humiliate, delegitimize the press and all the imagined enemies with spasmodic regularity and easily provoked predictability. The weight, the weight of all my honors is part of what brings me here to the podium. It, it compels me. It's against every one of my natural instincts, which is to stay the fuck home. <laughs> Stand up. It's hard. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be here. I want to be home and I want to read and garden and load my dishwasher. I do. I love that. It's embarrassing and it's terrifying to put the target on your forehead and it sets you up for all sorts of attacks and armies of, of brown shirts and bots and worse. And, and the only way you can do it is to feel you have to. You have to. You don't have an option. You have to stand up, speak up, 